28 millimeter, that's pretty darn wide. Can you shoot eagles with the 28? Why not try? Let's talk about this picture. Welcome back to Adventure in Art. My name is Ben Staley. I am your resident talking head. Well, I have been, uh, for the last dozen or so videos, they've been all about portraits. So I thought we would switch it up. Actually, I love shooting people. I love capturing faces. But what I love equally as much and what I don't get to do as much is shoot wildlife. I love shooting critters. I love being outdoors, in the wild, stalking an animal, trying to capture that awesome, awesome shot of some wild critter. Furry, feathered, whatever. Uh, basically, I really wish I was Morton Hilmer. That's, I, I mean, yes, I'm here to admit it. That guy is freaking awesome. If you come here often, you will know that I grew up in Alaska, and I've now lived in California for a couple decades, but uh, I grew up in pretty remote Alaska. So there was a lot of bears and moose and caribou and fox and wolverines and lynx and lots of eagles. There's lots of eagles all over Alaska, but I've never seen more bald eagles than in Dutch Harbor, Alaska, otherwise known as an Alaska Island which is in the Aleutian chain. Now the Aleutian chain goes down from mainland Alaska and arcs around through a fault of volcanoes stretching nearly to Japan. It's one of the wildest, starkest, most rugged, dangerous landscapes on planet Earth. It has literally some of the worst weather on the planet, the most unpredictable, the most violent. It's got one of the most deadly, dangerous oceans on one side, the Bering Sea, and on the other side is the Pacific Ocean. It's, it's a magical, savage, amazing place. For the last decade, a little more than a decade really, I've had the great honor and privilege to be able to visit the Aleutians and Unalaska mostly dozens and dozens of times for different projects. I have just freaking grown to love the Aleutian Islands. I've shot multiple TV projects out there, Discovery Channel, Netflix, uh, some other stuff. I have, uh, I made a documentary out there. If I could, I would love to do some kind of voyage or some kind of trip where I traverse the entire Aleutian chain. I could never afford to do that on my own. It's really, really expensive to get out to those islands. There's no cheap way, there's no easy way to get around. It's not something you can really do as a tourist unless you just have a crap load of money and most people are not willing to spend that much money. I've been lucky to go quite often for work and I spend every minute that I have free when I'm not working exploring, hiking, photographing because it's it's just an amazing place. I really can't express the depth of my love for the Aleutian Islands. Unalaska, because it's a fishing town, uh, it's basically, it might be the richest seaport like on the planet in terms of, of a fishing town. I mean, they, they pull literally hundreds of millions, if not billions of dollars worth of seafood out of the ocean and deliver it to Dutch Harbor every year. It's a rock in the middle of the ocean and there's only one reason to be there, and that would be to fish or to sell fish or to service the fishing industry. Consequently, there are a lot of seabirds and there are thousands and thousands of eagles. I've never seen more eagles anywhere on the planet than what you see in Dutch Harbor. They're literally everywhere. I mean, it's, they're, they're as common as seagulls or pigeons if you're in New York City. So look, I'm not the only one 
Many people visiting the Aleutians or Dutch Harbor will be thrilled to see all the eagles and it's a great place to photograph them, right? So if you have a long lens, if you have a zoom lens, a 70 to 200, a 400 mil, an 800 mil, it's like shooting fish in a barrel. I mean, you have to try really hard not to get good shots of eagles there. It's amazing. I wanted to talk about this specific image because, yes, if you're shooting wildlife, if you're shooting birds, raptors, eagles, whatever, you know, the common equipment to have would be uh, a zoom lens, right? At least a 70 to 200 or 400 mil if you have something awesome like that. But that's, that's the standard equipment for shooting wildlife or particularly birds, right? you're probably not gonna be able to get super close even in a place like Dutch Harbor. So the more powerful zoom you have, the better shot you can get, right? That's what conventional wisdom says. I was just out in Dutch Harbor in January and February doing a little work. I had a few free hours and I was roaming around. I didn't have a super long zoom lens, but I had my Q2. It was the only digital camera I had. Now, in case you don't know, the Q2 is not a zoom lens, it's 28 millimeters. Now it's got a lot of megapixels, 47, so you can crop in, but it's a wide angle lens, 28 millimeter. That's pretty darn wide. Can you shoot eagles with the 28? Why not try, okay? I was shooting a lot of landscapes. There's volcanoes all around Dutch Harbor. Uh, the whole Aleutian chain is all volcanoes. The light is always amazing. So I was doing a lot of photography and I'm always, looking out for an opportunity to capture an eagle. Well, I was out on the spit. It's this long man-made section of like a big breakwater uh, of rocks that was man-made and a lot of the boats tie up to it. And there's these big stacks of crab pots out there where uh, they store the crab pots in the off season. I was roaming around out there doing some work and I noticed perched on top of all these crab pots were dozens and dozens of eagles. Now that's cool in itself, just to get a big wide shot of that. But I spied this one eagle sitting by itself. And I thought, can I get close? Can I get a good shot of this guy? I parked right next to the road. I got out and I'm, I don't know, probably 20 yards away. I mean, it's, it's not a good shot. Like it's, it's, it's too far away with a 28 millimeter. I knew I needed to get close. Now, the cool thing about the eagles on, on uh, Dutch Harbor is they're really habituated to people. They're not afraid of people. They're also not super trusting. They're just, they're a predator. They understand that people are probably bigger and more dangerous. So they're just not gonna let you waltz right up to them. It's not gonna happen. So they have uh, superiority in the sky. Like all they have to do, birds are awesome. They can just take off and boom, they're gone. You can't touch them. To an extent, you can walk up and you can get fairly close to an eagle, but you're not gonna get like within arm's reach of it or close enough to really get a good close-up shot most of the time. So how did I get the shot? First of all, I wanna be prepared. I, I know that the best moment is gonna be when the eagle takes flight. Oof, it's wings spread out, it's reaching for the sky. I know that's probably gonna be my best sh chance to get a dramatic shot. Like right when it's taken off or right when it's a few feet into the air, it's real dramatic. I wanna get as close as I can. So what do I do? I'm a big guy. I make myself as small as possible. I fold in, I'm holding the camera up to my eye like this, okay? And I, I hunker down a little lower to the ground. Now the eagle is sitting just only a few feet off the ground. So it's lower than me. I'm lowering myself about a foot or so, and I'm holding the camera, and I'm just creeping up like this. See there, I'm losing focus. So, and, and that's what I do. And so I just start creeping in, boom, every now and then, boom, pop, taking a shot, taking a shot, taking a shot, creeping slower and slower, and then I'll pause. And eagles always, what they do is they start, they start kind of shuffling around, or you can see, you can tell by their, posture they start getting nervous as you get close to them and look i don't want to make a wild animal nervous right but what the heck i mean he's just going to fly away and land somewhere else it's not like he's got the whole place all to himself there's people and cars going by all the time 
What I want to do is just let him know that I'm not going to make any sudden moves. I'm moving as slow as possible. I'm taking my time. And whenever I see him getting kind of nervous and, and, and shuffling, I'll just pause. I'll take a breath. I'll let him relax a little bit. After a few moments, I'll start creeping forward again. And that's what I did. Creeping, 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 creeping until finally he did take flight and click. It's just instinct in that moment, you know. Uh, I don't have my camera set for multiple exposures. It's on a single exposure. So I'm just hoping that I capture an image at the right moment. And you know what? I did. I looked at the viewfinder right away and previewed the shot and kind of went, I think I nailed it. I just, the way this bird's wings were spread, zooming in, the way that its talons had let go and you could see little bits of snow in the air. I love the, the, the detail that this lens renders. The high megapixel helps with that. With the high megapixel, I have the real estate, so I did crop in a little bit and I like this framing a little better. I gave it a 16-9 aspect ratio because I think it's more cinematic. I like it. So I printed it out. I used an online service and had it printed. Just wanted to see what it looked like. 17 inches wide. There is so much detail in this image. You guys got to print your stuff. I don't print my stuff enough and I'm pissed off at myself for not doing it. Print your work. If it, it, it's not that expensive. You can find places online, you can upload your, your uh, images, boom, they'll send them to you. I'm sure if you're any kind of decent sized town, you can go somewhere and have it printed. I really love this image. The mountain in the background, the other eagles on the left side of the frame. So that's the story. I hope you liked it. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, if you wouldn't mind, do me a favor and beep, 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 do all the stuff. You know what I'm talking about. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you soon. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you had any more questions. Uh, we'll see you soon. Thank you.